Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pearl Lemon SEO and You channel, brought to you by, you guessed it, Pearl Lemon, and brought to you once more by me, Z. And for once, we're not on a PowerPoint. In fact, we are on the World Wide Web. We're on an actual website. Who'd have thunk it, hey? But today, uh, the reason why we're here, and we're probably going to go back to the usual structure tomorrow, is because we're actually going to be looking at something in a practical sense. So this over here is just a random website I found. I was just scrolling through the internet, typed in a few random keywords, and clicked on the first URL I found. And this website actually looks pretty cool. It's really nicely designed. It's a really nice looking website. So I'll commend them for that. They're awesome. So in general, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at page speed. We're going to be looking, sorry about that, if there was a hiccup, at page speed today. Page optimization, on-page optimization in terms of speed, usability, clarity, all of that, okay? So in general, what does that mean? Well, we're going to talk about why page speed matters, why it's important to ensure that your page speed is optimized efficiently, and how it can affect your SEO score in the long term depending on certain factors, okay? Now, in order to do this, we're going to have to talk about add-ons. Now, add-ons are an excellent part of um, working on the internet. There are plenty of them out there, especially for SEO. And in this case, we're going to be using Madden called Lighthouse, right? I believe this was made in-house by the Google devs in order to efficiently test the speed of a page and give you a metric breakdown of everything, all right? My screen suddenly looks a little bit more orange than it should, but I'm sure that's just me going a little bit cuckoo. And as you can see here, this website's got an excellent response time. It was a little bit better earlier, but in general, when we're talking about page speed, we are going to be talking about all the elements on the page and how quickly it responds to the user going in and, you know, clicking on something and reading through something, right? So for example, if I had to click on this over here, how quickly is it going to bring me to this page? If I had to click on about us, how quickly does it take us to this page? So this currently is just, I think, a one page. No, it's, it's not. Okay, cool. But you see, it loads very, very quickly. That's the beauty of a well-optimized website. If you are somebody, somebody and you click somewhere, you want them to move almost immediately to the other page, right? You want it to be as quick and efficient as possible. Because what happens or what tends to happen is that you go to a page, you click on it, it takes forever to load, you just close it. You don't think back, you think, I'm not going to deal with this, my time is too precious, or uh, we don't have the attention span anymore, so we just leave and we just go to another page. We just go and check out another page, right? So it's super important in that sense. Another thing is that Google does use the page speed as a ranking factor, especially Google, okay? So faster loading pages are generally favored in the search engine algorithm. Um, the, core, the core health of the website, which you'll find here, performance, the accessibility, the best practices in the SEO, all of these things are a good indication of like where a website is sitting. And in fact, I highly recommend you install Lighthouse if you can, just to ensure that the website is, you know, you're tracking your health in that effectively. It's an incredibly powerful tool and it's free to use. So in general, what we're looking at is, A, is the page fast? Yes. We're going to be looking at stuff like the first um, colorful content to the large, longest colorful content. Basically, how quickly does the first um, piece of content load? How quickly does the last piece of content load, right? Um, cumulative shift in layout, you don't have to worry about that. And speed index is 2.3, um, which is excellent. Now, this can be affected or affected by many things. Your internet speed, your device speed, all of those things. But in general, so long as your connection to the server is good and somebody can accident, access it reasonably quickly um, based on a speed of, say, 10 megabytes per second, up and down, it is incredibly effective. Uh, so that is speed. Is, if you're anywhere with 4G or fiber, that speed is basically chicken nuggets. It's really quick. It's really easy to reach. So so long as it's doing this, it's excellent, right? It also deals with the efficiency of the crawling, okay? So basically, search engines allocate a certain amount of crawling budget or a certain amount of bots to each website, determining how often and how much of a website's content they'll crawl. Faster loading pages allow bots to crawl more efficiently, and it ensures that more important content is indexed, right? So it also increases your conversion rate if you are just jumping uh, between sites or between pages on the website really, really quickly, and you're staying there for longer, you're staying on the website for longer, that improves your website's overall conversion rate, right? The retention rate. And it's a really good thing because users also prefer um, a snappier website. So the more snappy and effective your website is, the better it is in the long term. All right, guys, this is a lot shorter video because there really isn't as much content to go into. 
and to describe. Basically, you want your page to be as quick and efficient as possible. And you can use that using the Lighthouse add-on. It gives you plenty of scores here. Maybe I'll take you onto the back end of a website uh, tomorrow and show you some of the other things you can take a look at. But in general, make sure that your content on the page is compressed, the files are all small, that everything is clear and concise, and that everything is fast. That is your main goal. Be sure that everything possible on your website is as fast as possible. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments down below. And I'll see you all tomorrow.